What's going on YouTube? We're back with another video. Today I'm gonna to show you exactly what I'm eating in my cutting diet, just an average day. And uh, yeah, another full day of eating. So I'm about to make a meal numero uno. And it's gonna be eggs, chicken, and I mean, you'll see what I make. But yeah, I'm hungry. So uh, I'm gonna start making this thing. Mm. Let me get two eggs. Chicken meat again. So lately I've been doing just eggs and chicken in the morning, uh, just as a way to get a lot of protein in. But today I'm spicing it up a little bit and throwing it in a tortilla and making a little burrito just for you guys. Yeah, I mean, I really, honestly, I just like things that are pretty simple for the most part in the beginning part of the day. That's just how I like to eat. Uh, and I'm fine with going lower carb uh, earlier in the day. If it means I get to go to bed full and kind of eat something really nice for dinner, that's just kind of how I like to eat and I operate pretty well doing that. So, I mean, you'll see what I eat today, but yeah, I'm gonna make a breakfast burrito right now. This is also my new camera. It's like technically like a downgrade, but I think it's like simpler to use and it's not bad. I don't know, tell me what you think. If you wanna know what it is, it's the Sony ZV-E10. And um, I even have my cheaper lens on it, so. But today, I also want to make sure that I eat a lot of carbs at the end of the night. One, because it is a good treat and I, I like having a treat before I go to bed. But uh, two, I'm going to be doing that Murph workout with Dale tomorrow. And uh, I'm pretty nervous because I just, I just don't run or do any of those things. Uh, I'm not going to use the weighted vest if you don't know what it is. Uh, the Murph is a one mile run followed by 100 pull ups, 200 push ups. 300 air squats and then another mile run and you're doing it for time. Typically you'll do it with a 20 pound weighted vest. We don't have a weighted vest, so we're not doing that. Um, <laughs> but we also don't run or do any of that shit. So it's gonna be pretty interesting. Apparently a good time is like 30 minutes. I mean, if we both kind of said, if we run a 10 minute mile, we'll be pretty satisfied. So I think it'll be interesting to try, but I'm finished making this. Two notes. One, that is exact. This is exactly why having meal prepped food or food that's already prepared is much better. Imagine if that chicken wasn't cooked and I had to cook it from raw right now. That would take forever. Don't want to do that. Um, also, I messed up already because I should have made the tortilla first um, because I have uh, this tortilla. Oh, I'm using these tortillas, and it's an uncooked tortilla. So I find that they're pretty good. Um, I feel like it's a little bit better than just like the, the regular pre-made Mission ones. No offense to Mission, but I, I just like these better. But it does require me to cook it. off to the side just so I can make this damn tortilla yeah so when it says uncooked it's really just I mean that and you just cook it for about like a minute on each side but the macros are pretty good it is if it will focus uh, 3 grams of protein 22 carb 5 grams of fat or one tortilla. It's hot. So like I was saying, I pretty much eat the same variation of this every day. Sometimes it's with the tortillas, sometimes it's not. Uh, and it does in fact get boring. But I think one of the most important skills that you can have for dieting is, well, two skills is, one, not every meal has to be the most interesting thing in the world. And two, switching your mindset from always trying to make and find something different and figuring out ways or different ways to make what you're eating better. So like if it is chicken breast and you have to eat chicken breast, instead of just saying, I don't want chicken breast, the mindset should be, how can I make this chicken breast as good as possible so that I can continue to like it and get what I need to get done and eat what I need to eat? on a regular basis because 
Let's be real, chicken breast is not the most exciting thing in the world, but it doesn't have to be the worst thing in the world. There's a lot of different ways that you can make chicken breast that doesn't suck. You can use different sauces, different seasonings, whatever it is, but if you're just boxing yourself into saying like, this is, I don't like this, this is always gonna suck and I'm not gonna try and figure out how to make it better, then obviously it's never gonna get any better and you're gonna hate it and you're never gonna do anything. And that's not to say that you have to eat chicken breast forever, but if you can make that mindset shift to how can I make what I can do or can eat or whatever I have to train, like how can I make it as good or as fun as possible so that it can keep me in it for the long term and I can do what I need to do. Because at that point, once you get into understanding how to be more flexible and switch different, thi switch different things in and out, then it's like, well, I already know how to make everything as good as possible and, and have that kind of mindset so everything else will be much easier instead of always trying to battle yourself and saying like, well, I wish this was pizza. It's like, no shit, I wish this was pizza too, but you know, pizza's not gonna get me where I wanna go. You know, a breakfast taco's not bad. Mary's gone, I think the dogs are bored, so I'm trying to play with them before I go to the gym. <laughs> He's athletic. Uh, I'm about to go train right now, but I gotta eat again because it's been a few hours. It's already 1.30 and I've only had one meal. So, I'm going to have a protein shake and then I'm gonna take one scoop of pre-workout. So the protein that I have right now is the Whey Plus from Legion Athletics. Uh, hashtag ad, I guess, or whatever. So I do work with them now. Um, I do like their products. I like what they stand for. That's the only reason that I'm working with a company at all, just because, I don't know, I don't really need to. Uh, but all of their ingredients are no prop blends. There's no artificial dyes, no artificial sweeteners. Everything is on the back of the label. They pay for third-party inspection of all of their products to make sure that what they say is in there is in there. They taste pretty good and you know, I like the formulations. And if you go on the website, it literally says on the top, you don't need supplements, which you don't. Uh, but they can certainly help in some aspects. So if you would like to go try them out, uh, you can go to lesionathletics.com, use my code. It's uh, Lionhearted, L-I-O-N-H-E-A-R-T-E-D. Uh, and it's, it's probably linked below or something like that. But I'm gonna drink this. Uh, their pre-workout is cool. I got the strawberry kiwi, a little bit more sour than I thought it would be. Um, but as with most pre-workouts, it is a two scoop serving size to get the full amount of everything that you want. So just so you know, most pre-workouts are two scoop dose uh, for the full serving amount of whatever you're looking for, like beta alanine, you want like 3.2 grams. Uh, this one has 3.6 per two scoops. Um, Alpha GPC, that's a nootropic, 300 milligrams for two scoops. Uh, citrulline malate, eight grams at a two to one ratio, two scoops. So one scoop is a half a serving size. One scoop of this is 175 milligrams of caffeine, which I think is great. Uh, 350 is like, right at the border of what I wouldn't take anymore. So um, that's cool. Um, there's also a non-stim version of this, which is basically the same exact thing. So you can go like one scoop, one scoop. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take this and then head out. You know, talking to the camera, I feel like it's a little bit weird. I feel like this video might be way longer than it needs to be, but I don't know. I will say, I, I'm releasing the podcast that I'm starting up and uh, I'm doing this YouTube thing again uh, at the same time. And it's funny because that first episode that I made, it was basically my story. Um, I worked with a team to like a branding media team thing. And they told me kind of like uh, what would be a good good thing to do for the first episode, which is talk about myself and you know tell my story and stuff like that, which was pretty awkward, I'm not gonna lie. So that first episode, if you wanna watch it, I think, I have the video version on the YouTube, on my YouTube, so it's gonna be somewhere here. Um, or you can listen to it on Spotify and all that good stuff, but it's, it's a, I feel like I was awkward, but I think it's just because it's me and my story. But who knows?
Um, if you want to check that out, you can check that out. Maybe you'll relate to it. Maybe it'll give you some inspiration. Or maybe you'll laugh at me for being awkward. Who knows? <laughs> but you can check it out if you want. Let's go train. All right, we are back from the gym. I am tired since I have been up since, I think I said five earlier, but it was more like 4.30 because Mary's alarm was up at four and I was supposed to make sure to wake her up. And I'm only two meals in really. <sighs> so I'm gonna make a Caesar salad right now. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be my third meal in post-workout meal. Right here, I've got lettuce and whatever, and um, I got seven ounces of the rotisserie chicken breast. I got some lemon juice right here, that organic stuff. I like to put a little lemon juice on it. That's always nice. And then um, I have this Caesar salad dressing from Bolt House Farms. It's 50 gram or 50 calories per serving of two tablespoons, which is 30 grams. So I'm gonna use two servings of this and then one serving of this Parmesan or Parmigiano Reggiano and then some black pepper. All right, so that is just about 60 grams. And then, some fresh cracked black pepper. All right, I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, salad? Do you really eat salad just because you're dieting? And the answer is no. I actually really love Caesar salad. It's always been a favorite of mine. Unfortunately, normal Caesar salad dressing is typically very high in fat. So uh, this Bolt House Farm one allows me to have it and it's still pretty good. I don't always do this, but having a salad for lunch that is low carb also allows me to have something that is high carb later on at night for dinner, which is when I typically like having bigger meals. Um, I just prefer to go to bed full. Uh, so, you know, I, I literally eat Sometimes the last thing I do, I just eat and then go to I go straight to bed. Uh, you know, all the uh, I, that's definitely what I did when I was bodybuilding because I was always so damn hungry. Um, but yeah, whatever time you want to stop eating at night, it's whatever time you want to stop eating at night. If you're eating two thousand calories, it's still two thousand calories no matter what time you eat. Uh, no matter what time you eat it. So you know, eat in a way that you enjoy as much as possible. So then you can create this lifestyle that you enjoy, which means you will keep doing it because if you hate what you are doing, you are not gonna do it long-term because eventually the motivation, the discipline, the accountability, whatever you were doing it for is going to fade and you will end up reverting back to your normal self without that motivation to live a shitty life that you don't like. And now that I have mixed this, I'm going to eat this. Literally every time I sit down to eat, she goes crazy and either needs to go to the bathroom or needs me to pick her up. And I never know which one because she's the one that has accidents and pisses and shits in the house. All right, it is 7.05. I'm finally going to stop working and being on the computer. <sighs> long day but I'm gonna make my dinner you know whatever you want to call it so I got some mushrooms some 93.7 ground turkey and basically I'm gonna make a little pasta is 
on the trip and here she is. Final meal. I just have um, a serving and a half of the special K with red berries, like the cornflakes and red berries and whatever. And then I have unsweetened almond milk in here, like not even a whole cup. This is the last thing I'm gonna eat today. So hopefully you got some cool meal prep ideas or you can see how I think about things and hopefully that'll help you come up with your own diet. But thanks for watching. You know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Instagram down below. And see you next time.